Hello, uh, welcome to the View Composition API uh, tutorial. Tutorial, uh, excuse me. So we're starting from the same code base we had from the previous video. I should add the link here, but um, what I'm going to start off by doing here is just setting up the uh, main app view to support the various states of the application. So first we have the loading state where we'll check a variable for loading. Next we have another state we're using the v if else. So if you have an error, we're going to log the error, which will also be given uh, back to us from the uh, view composition API function. Um, since we are working on authentication here, here we're going to check another else if is to see if we actually get a user back. And if we have a user back, we're going to render a couple of things in the UI um, to show that there actually is a user in a current using application. So we're going to render a display name, and um, I think that should be enough for us to show at this point. And we'll get that back from uh, Firebase if we have an actual user that has been authenticated. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I think we also want to show, oh yeah, we already have the hello world um, component there, uh, but then we need to be able to log out. We're not actually going to handle log in or log out in um, part two here. We're going to cover log in and log out in part three, but just to get the UI in place, we're going to add the log out button on the end here. Notice logout button only shows there's actually a user. And then now we close the whole thing out, let's format it, clean it up. And then the last state that we're going to uh, show is that if I'm not loading, if I don't have an error, if I don't have a user, then at the bottom we're going to have a login component. Once again, this is just a placeholder because in uh, this version of the video we're focusing on just Firebase determining if there actually is a user object, which is what you get if you've logged in before um, and so since I have logged in before on this machine once I spin the server up uh, uh, sorry once I spin the website up you'll see that um, we're gonna render a user that was um, already saved in uh, session data was already saved by Firebase so I'm adding a couple of comments also remember you can check out all the source code the source code is available so you can kind of step through it pause the code and see that I have everything there. I try to put as many comments in the code as possible, so if you can't follow along with me or the video, you can always kind of slow back down and slow it down and read it. Um, here, as you, um, just to let you know, I haven't actually built out these files yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by just adding the import for the login form here, and then um, we'll go back and we'll actually create the file and put some basic content in there. So we have to import the login form. We have to add it as a new component so that we don't get any errors from view. Everything looks good right now. And now we're going to hop into the view component stuff. If this stuff doesn't make sense to you, I strongly suggest you go back and look at the previous video where uh, a lot of this is covered without the confusion of Firebase. We just have a basic view composition API function that shows you about how to do the setup, how to do the refs, how to do the reactives and how to pass the value back. So now it looks like we have the basics for the app view component set up. I'm adding the uh, view composition function that we're going to put. We follow that use hyphen whatever uh, nomenclature. So now we have our use auth function, which will return a user for us, a loading value for us, and an error. And then what we do here in setup is we pass these. Um, properties back so they'll be available to the view object to be utilized. Um, looks like we have all the important stuff in place. Add a couple more comments here. So like I said, when you go back through it on your own, it all makes sense to you. Okay. Uh, is this this kind of makes sense? Yeah, Firebase. Yes. What else is needed? Uh, I think. Went up. We have an error. Um, yeah, it can't find the actual login form view. So we'll fill that out. Just use a basic template and put a simple um, H1 tag at the top of the form so that we know um, the page is there. You won't actually see it this time around, but at least 
I mean, it's a placeholder, which we'll get in the next video. Next, we need to actually add our view composition function. And so again, we use our use to kind of copy off the React hook format. And now we're going to lay out the code to support the functionality for our view composition function. Just copying over to the default, the view composition API. We also know we need to import Firebase. All we're going to do here is just do a simple Firebase check auth state, determine if I have a user or not. So we'll get our all of our imports in. Uh, and here I'm going to use our Firebase configuration. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause in a little bit here and add my configuration into a separate file um, so that you know, nobody uses my configuration. You guys can set up your own stuff. Um, so we do our basic check for app length so we don't get this error on the reload. And then we're going to set up our configuration properties. But we'll circle back to that. Uh, we do a default export of the function. And now let's get into it. You know, we need to do the whole setup and return again. Let's set our reactive state. So, as you saw in the previous file, we need to keep track of a user. We need to keep track of whether or not we are loading. And we need to keep track of any error that might be generated. Next. Um, we will make the Firebase call. This is, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, once it, you can also follow along in a blog post where there's links to all the functions that I'm making. Uh, all, sorry, all the functions that I'm using. So we'll just paste the function in. There it is. It's the on, on, it's the on auth state change. If we get a user, we set the state to the user. If we don't get a user, we set it to null. And then when we're all done, we set loading back to false. And then, as you saw. In view app, when you call this composition function, it is looking for um, the state to be returned. So we take our whole state object, we convert everything back to ref so it can be used properly on the other side. Um, now let's address the fact that we have an imported Firebase. So we'll import Firebase so that everything's happy. Let this run, it'll take a little bit. Here it goes. Now let's fire our server up again. Sorry, I keep saying server. Our web browser. Reload. Uh, why are we just getting a login form? Let's see. Oh, I forgot to um, add my configuration. So like I said, I'm gonna add my configuration. I'm gonna put it in a separate file. So it's just a good way to um, not basically not check your credentials into uh, GitHub and get that annoying error from GitHub saying, hey, you have uh, application keys stored there. What's going on? Oh, OK. We're going to just destructure Firebase config here so we get all the keys. Now. I will create the file, but I'm going to go away for a minute here and put my stuff in so that you can't see it. And now I'm back. So, my Firebase config is set up. What's going on? Uh, looks like, sorry, got a little bit of a spelling error here. Let me reload this with the code assist. We get it right. Okay, now we're loading and it's found. No current user. What is going on? Uh, I guess this user doesn't have a display name. So we're going to have a display display name and also display a user email address if it has one. And that was it. Um, once again, you can step through the code if you find it interesting. And uh, Enjoy it. View Composition API with Firebase Part 1. Please check out the blog post on Dev2 uh, to explain everything you just saw, and please follow up for Part 2.